You got your uniform, you got your... and we're talking about the Project Medicine Plant from Harvard Elementary. Let's give them a big hand, everybody. Man, I have a headache because of the science fair pressure. So, <laughs> man, ask your mom for an aspirin. I hear it relieves pain. Funny how this little pill helps humans, but does it help other things, I wonder? Hmm. Hi, my name is Spencer, and I really love to play basketball. Hi, my name is Ricardo, and I love to play soccer. Hi, my name is Valeria, and I like playing sports. And hi, my name is Jaden, and I really love eating chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we're from Harvard Elementary School, Homo the Husky. Ow! <laughs> Sorry, that's just our impersonation of our husky. Okay, we're getting off subject. Let's go back to our project. Okay. During our research, we found out that gardeners recommend using aspirin to help plants grow faster and healthier. And for today's experiment, we'll find out whether the dissolved aspirin will help the plants grow faster and healthier. Question. If aspirin helps us humans feel better, why not plants? Will adding a soft aspirin to the plant's water help it grow healthier and faster than with just regular water? Hypothesis, we all actually had a different guess. My partner, Valeria, and I thought that the plant wasn't gonna grow because of the chemicals inside of an aspirin. I thought that the plant would stay the same and grow the same rate as the fresh water plant. And I thought our independent variable, the amount of aspirin we put into the plant, would make it grow stronger and faster. Variables. Our independent variable was the amount of aspirin we put into the plant. Our control variable is how much we use fresh water to help the plant's growth rate. Our dependent variable was the growth of the plant over time. Time for a history lesson. Do any of you guys know where aspirin comes from? Well, it comes from the inner part of a willow tree, which contains a mild pain reliever called salicylic acid. This acid is then extracted to make aspirin by a very, very hard chemical process invented by Bayer in the late 1800s, but we won't bore you into that process today. <laughs> As for materials, we had to use radish seeds, soil, two plastic cups, distilled water, two petri dishes, empty water bottles, and Bayer aspirin. In order to do this project, you need to follow these specific steps. Step one, we label each cup with which solution the plant will be watered with, and then poke holes in the bottom of each cup to apply water drainage. Step two, we then added potting soil, and then added five radish seeds after. Step three, we put each cup onto a petri dish to 
so the water wouldn't leak everywhere. Step four, we dissolve 325 milligrams of an aspirin tablet into 16 ounces of tap water. We then watered our independent and controlled variable. Every day we would water the seeds with a specific amount of water, usually 10 milliliters. Step six, we would record any sprout or growth in any of the cups. For a result, we have a graph to show you how much the plant grew over time. For the first day, the plants didn't grow at all. For the second day, the freshwater plant grew 0.9 centimeters and the aspen plant grew 1.2 centimeters. After eight days, the freshwater plant grew 5.3 centimeters and the aspen plant grew 6.3 centimeters. So, as a result, the aspen plant grew faster than the freshwater plant. But what caused this? Jaden, take over. <laughs> as Ricardo said earlier, son, son. Guys, help me out here. Salicylic acid. Oh, well then. Salicylic acid is extracted from a willow tree that makes an aspen for what it is. But you can't just consume this acid alone. It is mixed with other ingredients to make it easier on the tummy. Salicylic acid is commonly used to treat acne and fight off bacteria. You may find salicylic acid in cleansers, toners, lotions, and creams. You see, plants naturally protect themselves from diseases, insects, and damages they may experience. Salicylic acid is a naturally occurring compound in plants which helps it defend itself against bacteria and diseases. And adding additional salicylic acid or aspirin appears to trigger the plant's defenses and helps it grow healthier and faster. In conclusion, that makes the dissolved aspirin useful to help plants grow faster and healthier. In conclusion, conclusion, or in a <laughs> nutshell, with the aspirin tricked the plant into thinking it needed to protect itself against diseases and other things it may experience. And the aspirin triggered the plant's immune system. So as a result, the plant grew faster and healthier. We encourage all of those gardeners in the audience and those kids to start gardening to try this at home. Come back next week when we will experiment to see if plants can overdose on aspirin. Mm -hmm. Ricardo, Spencer, can you show the judges our plants? This concludes our project. Thank you for your time. Are there any questions? decide how much aspirin to give the plants and if you gave them more aspirin do you think they'd grow even bigger? Um, wait what was your question again? Oh just how did you decide how much aspirin to give the plants? Oh well we and our supervisor we crushed one pill we just crushed it and we mixed it with waters and we just poured it so I'm thinking that since we put the hole, that made the salicylic acid useful and made it grow much bigger. But if you gave, if you crushed it maybe two or three pills and put it in the same amount of water, do you think that the extra aspirin would have an effect on the growth of the plant? Well, we think since the plants are kind of like a skin, and if we take too many medicine, mm -hmm. too much that we don't need, mm -hmm. then we could die. So if the plants take too much of it, then they could also die. Okay. We would overdose, like just the plants. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other questions? Um, I just wanted to see your um, data chart again. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, I have a question. I just want to know, how did you measure the difference differences? And were those your only two point uh, I guess plant pots, or did you have more plants than that? Well, we actually, we actually tried to grow the plants with a leaf and Advil, mm -hmm. but we're still waiting for the results for those two. And we tried it with vitamin D, but since it didn't grow, we thought that the plant died. Any other questions? Do a quick one. Um, so based on that graph again, so you see on day three, 
like they grow, the one with Bayer grows a lot, right? From two to three. But then once you get to day seven, it, they sort of, the, the one just in water sort of catches up to the, to the Bayer one. So do you think if you just left them there for two weeks, like they would eventually be the same size or you think the, the Bayer would, does that make sense? I think that the the water one will kind of catch up because like the aspirin will like the the salicylic acid will kind of wear out because the plant already has salicylic acid. Good answer. I like that answer. Yeah. Now I don't know what the heck they're talking about. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody! Give a big hand. Recording me. Babe, stop recording me. Have you seen the guns? Have you seen the guns? The good thing is that we don't have to ever do this again. Yeah, we're getting lunch. Yeah. And last but not least, Figueroa. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, appreciate it. Thank you, Bruce. So I want to congratulate all of the participants. Let's give all of these students a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Carla. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I got you on camera. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And then, and then come right back. We'll be going there. That's that's the runners up. That's but the one in the back, that's probably the information for the Yeah, we got um We'll be going camping. <laughs> <laughs>